Noah Centineo is one of Hollywood's newest breakout stars with an astonishing 8.1 million <laughs> Instagram followers. Oh, I, think, yeah, I think he got him overnight. Yeah. He's gaining popularity with the Netflix romantic comedies to, to all, all the boys, boys I've loved, loved before. before. And the highly anticipated Sierra Burgess is, is a, a loser. loser. Well, with many calling him the Tom Hanks of his generation at 22, is helping to bring new life to the rom-com world. Welcome, well, Noah. Well, 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 Noah. I don't know. Okay. Well, so I think it's something to do with the hair. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> the unruliness. When just people takes put over. your name in the same sentence with Tom Hanks, do you feel overwhelmed, intimidated? I mean, blessed, like, yeah. and and, and uh, humbled. Honestly, he's incredible. Yeah. He's a sweet guy too, and you seem the same way. Don't don't spoil it, all right? <laughs> just gonna keep his head. Just just keep turn it on. on. Turn, turn on, right, right turn baby? On. Yeah. For people who don't, don't know the concept of "To All the Girls I've Loved Before," what's give us just the, the the elevator pitch? Well, "To All the Boys I Loved Before" is about uh, it's about a young lady who's terrified to love. So anytime that a love interest or a crush comes into her life, instead of exploring that, she'll pour her heart out in, yeah. a, in a letter. She'll address it and then she'll seal it and she'll just throw it away. Yeah. Yeah. And she'll like put it away and never to yeah. ever uh, be seen the light of day until her younger sister Kitty is like, yo, why are you locking your heart away? And she takes all the letters that she's written and sends them to all the boys <gasps> she loved before. Oh. And I play one of those boys. Oh, what an awesome concept. So yeah. is that a scary thing for a boy to ha uh, uh, discover something like that? That's like, she, oh my gosh, this, this girl is crazy for me. <laughs> it, does you like it or yeah. does it terrify you? I mean, I think it depends on like what the chemistry is with the person, right? Yeah, I mean, right. if it's like someone who you're like, oh no, I'm not interested, but thank you, I'm flattered. Or if it's someone who you've been crushing on, you're like, do you like a girl who pursues you, or do you like someone who you pursue? Um, I think it's mutual, and it should yeah. be mutual, for sure. Yeah? I prefer that, yeah. Um, you went from who is Noah Centinea to, oh my gosh, I have 8.1 million Instagram followers. Did mm. it feel like your life changed in an instant? No, I'm very fortunate that uh, it all exists on a two-dimensional screen. It's not like yeah. I have 8.1 million people following me around wherever I go. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That would be pretty but intense. you kind of do. <laughs> What do girls? They would if they could. Do young girls throw themselves at you? Is that what happens on the street? A little. I've had people stop cars and like jump out of this like <laughs> out of shotgun before and yeah. like, and I'm like, yo, there's traffic. <laughs> they, <laughs> they don't, don't care. Traffic. They don't like, back care. up. You're gonna get hit. Like it's terrifying. What does your family think of your success? Are they digging it? Uh, well, my dad's here right now. Let's oh, give a pause. We should ask him. <laughs> Are you digging it, Dad? He says he's loving it. Believe this. Did you know from when you when you were a little boy that this is something you wanted to do? Yeah, yeah. Um, when I was eight, I started and I was really into it. And then when I was 15, I kind of looked at my parents and I said, "This is what I want to do. I want to dedicate to this." And if I lived in Florida at the mm -hmm. time, and I said, "If you move me to Los Angeles, I promise you, I will make it. I will, you know, I'll be and successful." And they said yes. <laughs> you said yes. Why aren't we interviewing wow. him? <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. wow. Did it what? take a lot of convincing or? No, man, they're incredible. They, they supported me from the jump. They always like, I think their, their mentality on raising kids was you got to let them grow and curve the way they want yeah, to. Yeah, sure. Um, and I was like, you know, like fortunate enough to have a dad that worked very hard so that he could finance. You know, I was very like privileged. <laughs> This yeah. is fantastic this because is... a lot of parents would say, yes, you can follow your dreams, but we want you to get your college but degree first. first. Finish up. Totally, yeah. totally. And that's what a lot of parents And do. they were like, no. You do your thing. <laughs> you do it's your probably because he's getting 10%. <laughs> <laughs> at least. <Good 15>. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> well, we're so happy to meet you, sweetie. You're a lovely young man. You've raised a fine young man. You did really well. To all the boys I've loved before is streaming now on Netflix, and Sierra Burgess is a loser. loser. <laughs> premieres this Friday also on Netflix. Coming up.